Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. We got another great presentation today. Today we're going to look at a topic, no speaking. A lot of adults do that or like, you know, you can see the kids also doing it. The scientific term for that is called rhinotilexomania, okay? Again, my name is Pramil Charet. I'm a program director, internal medicine residency, transitional residency. I teach medical students in residence. I'm also director of research. So let's get into our topic today, no speaking, no speaking behavior and like what are some characteristics, what are some complications. So we did some literature search. We found this study published in um, preliminary study in the rhinotilexomania or no speaking in an adolescent people and let's see what we found out. So they were looking at a survey of these uh, people and see like what characteristic of the people like is very interesting characteristics. So they have around 200 um, adolescents in the study. Um, there are about 200 students. A brief explanation was the study was provided. They asked about the questions. Um, so what did they find out? So find, the major finding is like no speaking behavior, a frequency of five times per day, 31% of the people they do like more than five times a day no speaking okay frequency 10 times like some people even do greater than like 15 percent of the people who are doing picking the nose more than 10 times and some people even do more way more than 20 okay times per break seven point uh, and then 36 percent of subjects reported they occasionally pick this nose in the public and only seven subjects reported that the uh, they did not pick their nose at all, okay? So it's a problem in a lot of people, no speaking behavior. So what are the reasons like uh, in this study what they found, okay? More, I mean, if you look at it, most of the people, when they, when we asked the, when the researcher asked the question, they did it for 34% um, say for personal hygiene, okay? And 31% of the people said they did not know speaking to relieve discomfort or itch. That's more reasonable. And 28% six of the people uh, did it to unclog the nasal package because they think maybe it's kind of, you keep on blocking there, okay? 12% of the people said it was a pressure. Maybe they have like, you know, we just have like more analysis, like what kind of pressure they're getting. Cosmetic reason, 10% people did it. So main thing, you know, personal hygiene, I think people worried about the personal hygiene, I think they are like 34%, uh, a very interesting finding. So what are the methods they use to pick the nose? 80% use their fingers, okay? And then some people are using tweezers, like 6.5% of the sample. And some people are doing very dangerous, using pencils or some pencils, 4.5%. So just be careful, and all this can injure the nose. There are some um, incidents like people have like a perforation of the nasal septum and all those kind of things. So based on this, uh, some facts. Nose speaking is very common. It's associated with the habitual behavior. And um, so we can say clearly, like, I mean, it's very common. Uh, people not only use their fingers, they could be using like instruments which could damage to the nasal pathways. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Please subscribe to our channel.